614 on this Christmas morning. Merry Christmas, everyone. Looking live outside at Santa Monica and the pier looking very festive this morning. It's going to feel festive today, too, and into tomorrow because we are tracking a cold Christmas storm. Take a look at your satellite and radar right now. Uh, things are pretty quiet so far to start off your morning. That is going to change here shortly, though, and that is because the main front with all the rain is still sitting to our north. We are seeing some light showers uh, moving in ahead of that main cold front where we're seeing the light rain right now is over parts of Lake Elsinore and Orange County. Other than that, no major issues to start your Christmas morning, but big changes on the way as we head into uh, really tonight and into tomorrow. Take a look. Here's the main cold front uh, draped over Santa Barbara County right now. We're waking up to some really chilly temperatures on this Christmas morning. 30s and 40s, 44 in Camarillo this morning, 48 in LAX, 44 in Burbank as well as we head to Newport Beach. It's 46 degrees, 44 in your Belinda Inland Empire, you're in the 30s uh, and Yukaipa and Riverside, Beaumont, 23 in Big Bear City, Lake Arrowhead checking in at 29. We have a ton of snow on the way for our local mountains too. So visibility is actually looking pretty good. So if you are uh, driving to your family's house, friend's house this morning, not going to see any issues as far as visibility goes, but the rain's going to be moving in here shortly. Winds are a little bit breezy. Take a look. Victorville, Apple Valley, you're seeing wind gusts of about 20 miles per hour right now. So we do have wind advisories in effect because of that. And that's not the only uh, weather alert that we're talking about. In pink here, these are winter storm warnings for the mountains. Mountains expecting a ton of snow. Notice this winter storm warning uh, does extend all the way through the grapevine in that I-5 corridor. Winter weather advisories even for uh, Lancaster and Victorville. And we could see several inches of snow today and into tomorrow for the Antelope Valley. Flash flood watches for Far Eastern Riverside County, as you can see there. Take a look at some of these snow totals that we're expecting. Anywhere from 24 to 30 inches of snow for Wrightwood. Same as we head to Big Bear. So this is going to be a huge snowmaker for our local ski resorts. Isolated snow totals up to 40 inches possible. Your future cast it does show that that front starts to move in as we head into 10, 11 o'clock this morning, pushing into the basin around lunchtime, noon into 1, and then uh, lastly moving into Orange County, the Inland Empire, Riverside County later on this afternoon. But it's really tonight into tomorrow when that heavy rain and the cold core of the storm will move in, dropping snow levels significantly, really impacting travel into tomorrow. Anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain possible with this storm system, snow level is going to be dropping down to about 3,000 feet. And we are going to see a significant snow. Expect travel troubles through the passes into your Thursday before this storm moves out as we head into Friday. So your Christmas forecast. Well, it's festive out there. We're tracking this cold Christmas storm for the basin. Highs today are going to be in the upper 50s. Your extended forecast shows uh, tomorrow rain and mountain snow will continue to fall. Really the worst of it moving in tonight and into your Thursday. But by Friday, the sunshine's back. We have a beautiful weekend uh, with sunshine, high temperatures in the 60s for many of you. And into New Year's next week, your New Year's Eve is looking good. Nice and dry forecast. DeMarco, back to you.